Hi, hi there. Hello, my name is Layla. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing my skincare routine. I start with the Vanilla Co. Clean and Zero Cleansing Balm in Original and the Wish Trend Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash, though sometimes I use the Drunk Elephant Cleansing Gel. I follow that up with the Paul is Troy's Resist Advanced Pore Refining Treatment BHA and the Resist Dealing Smoothing Treatment AHA, but before I use either of those i always tone with my clara supple preparation facial toner i love her she's the best um i actually like the sensitive skin one more just because it doesn't have essential oils and um scent but this one works just as well i haven't had any issues with it after i do all of that i use the peach and lily wild dew treatment essence she's a little extra she's a little pricey i like her a lot <laughs> the packaging is so nice it's a glass bottle um it's expensive enough that i don't feel like recommending it to everyone i use five to ten drops depending on how my skin is feeling and i always 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 bring the product down my neck and onto my hands I always pat the product into my skin just because I don't like rubbing at my skin. That's the best way to prevent aging. Um, so it's like a little massage patting it into your skin. Like I said, always rub it into your hands, down your neck, and on your hands. After I do the essence, I like to use the Dear Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. She's so nice. Uh, it's like their vitamin C serum, but a little bit thinner in texture. It's like a watery oil. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Um, I like to pat that into my skin, and even though it's like an oil, it does absorb super nicely. And it has no scent, which I adore. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that prefers their skincare and stuff to not have scents just because they make me sneeze so much. <laughs> Gotta pat the cheeks. Again, rubbing it into the hands, down the neck, onto the hands. Most important thing. After that, I use the white tea face milk from the 4th Ray Beauty. It's the ColourPop skincare line. Uh, they don't have this one in stock anymore, but they do have a bunch of other ones. I do like this one a lot because it's not scented. Um, but their face milks, I have the papaya and the turmeric ones as well. I like them a lot, actually. Again, down the neck. Onto the chest. Ooh, who, who is she? Who is she? <laughs> I forgot to show it, but I actually use the Clara's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop, which is that uh, other one that I mentioned earlier. It's a little, she's a little thicker, <laughs> but um, she is my favorite vitamin C serum, honestly. And even though it's an oil, it does absorb into the skin. It just does take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I used to have way more, like my skin is relatively even. Ooh, ooh, kill him, kill him. <laughs> um, but my skin is relatively even, the pores are relatively small. Um, and I used to have more problems with hyperpigmentation and I really do feel like this has helped a lot. Next up is the Ordinary Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. It's one of the only products I actually really like from The Ordinary and one of the only products I use besides like their argan oil and stuff that doesn't pill up. You don't need a lot, you just need a couple drops, a little goes a long way with this one. And um, I find that my skin is a little bit more plump and supple after using it. Not like a huge difference, but again it doesn't cost a super lot so it's okay for me. Always blend, blend it rub down your neck and your hands because they're the first places that show signs of aging. Gotta think about future you. So 
again, always down your hand, down your neck and onto your hands, always, always. Next, it's the goat, it's the greatest, it's the Casa RX Snail Serum. It's probably my favorite product, this is like my sixth bottle of their Snail Musin 96 Power Essence. It's like a holy grail for so much of the skincare community because it's that good. She is that bitch. She does that. Honestly, she snapped. <laughs> and like, I, I just, oh hello, Layla's hands in the background. But yeah, the, the, she's just, no words can express how much I love this, this serum, this essence, it's just, ugh. She really did that. Next product is a little bit extra. It's <laughs> not necessary, but it's one of my favorites. This is like my third bottle of the stuff. I adore her as well. It's the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Um, she's expensive. <laughs> Again, not something I would justify for everyone, but I really like it. I love, 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 love how my skin looks after using it. I do notice a difference. I notice a big difference in like how my skin ups accepts product and how my skin looks after I wake up when I use it before I go to sleep. It's just, I don't know what it is about it. It works. <laughs> So I, I will continue paying the exorbitant price for it, 100%. Next up, I have the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. This and the Vitamin C Serum together are perfection. Like, they're so good. They, I don't know what magic they do together. They just do it. Your skin looks amazing when you use them together. And it says it's a sleeping pack, but you don't necessarily have to rinse it off. So I use it day and night, basically. <laughs> and a little bit goes a long way with it. This lasts a really long time, so it's great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And even though it's daytime, I sleep during the day, so this is basically my nighttime <laughs> routine. Um, my daytime routine is pretty similar too, though. And I say that because I am going to moisturize with the um, Paula's Choice Defense Nightly Reconditioning Moisturizer and the honey ceramide cream from Cosrx, but it's been discontinued so i'm going to link to the uh snail 92 all-in-one cream which is just as good i like to mix the two of them together they're both pretty lightweight moisturizers and i i like both of them so it's a, like one two punch in moisturization <laughs> Again, I'm not rubbing at the skin, it, I'm not tugging at the skin, I'm being as gentle as possible, especially around the eyes, especially around the eyes, please never rub or tug your eyes. And I'm just making sure that the product is as absorbed as possible. Again, down the neck, onto the chest, and on the hands. Look at that glow. Look at who is she? <laughs> and I talked 
top it all off with my uh, Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. Uh, I use plenty um, because my bed is next to a window so I like to use uh, sunscreen even while I'm sleeping just because I do sleep, again, I sleep during the day, I work nights. So again, not rubbing, tugging at the skin, I'm just putting it on as gently as possible. You have to baby your skin because you're, if you're nice to your skin, it'll be nice to you back. <laughs> And I put regular sunscreen everywhere else that I'm not applying this sunscreen to, just because this is a small bottle. <laughs> I'm not trying to use it on my body for everything else. For my body sunscreen, I actually use the uh, La Roche Posay one. And I almost forgot, you can't leave your lips crusty. So I use the Glossier Bomb.com in mango. It smells like actual mangoes. I wish it was flavored, <laughs> but I know I would eat the whole thing if it was. <laughs> it's so nice. It has like the tiniest hint of color. So it's like barely noticeable, but the smell, it smells so good. And the packaging is so cute. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.